Today in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to move your scratch characters up, down, left, and right using the WASD keys or with the up, down, left, right arrow buttons. Let's get started. All we're going to do is start on the left hand side with the events key. So we need something to control when our character moves. In this case, we're going to use the up arrow, the right arrow, and you guessed it, the left and down. So up, left, right, down. You can keep them like this so it makes sense which direction you want to move. And then we need to change by a certain value. Uh, if you see on the right hand side, my background here is the X and Y coordinates, so the Cartesian plane, and that's how Scratch works. Going up is positive Y, going right is positive X, going down is negative Y, and going left is ne negative X. And we can see how this works by adding in change Y by for up and down. So we'll go minus 10 if we're going down, or minus any value really. And that will allow us to move up and down with those keys there. If we change this to 20, it'll simply move at a faster rate. So if we go minus 20, you can see our character moving up and down a little bit faster. Very quickly, we can do the same. We'll change X by 10 for the right. We'll make it 20 so it's consistent and change X by minus 10 or minus 20 on the left hand side. Very quickly, we have a character that moves up, down, left and right and you can start creating games just like this. One little hint that I'd say is once you've got a character that you're happy with, you can actually drag it straight into your backpack. And as soon as you drag that character back, you'll notice that the code, I'll show you a different one actually, my Santa Claus here, and your code actually stays there. So what that means is once you've coded this once for your character, your sprite, you can move up, down, left, and right, you'll be able to continue with that character in another game at any point in time. If you want to clean up your code, you can just right click, clean up blocks, and bam, all your code is nice and neat. Hopefully these tips helped. Good luck. Let me know if you have any problems. Uh, feel free to comment below with some questions or suggestions. Thank you.